Welcome back. I'm outside the CBS Broadcast Center on the busy streets of New York City, and it's all to celebrate our next guest, Stephanie Stanky, a mechanic who at 29 joined a small list of women who own automotive repair shops. She's our latest wildflower, and empowering other women to learn more about cars really revs my engine. Stephanie is joining us now. Hi, Stephanie. How are you? I'm doing so well. Thank you so much for having me. I, I really admire you. How are you? I feel the exact same way about you, Stephanie. You've made it your mission to empower other women to learn more about cars. Will you explain? Absolutely. So it's it's been a struggle working in this field. Um, it's something that I absolutely love doing. It's my passion. Um, but throughout the years, you know, I've, I've had to deal with a lot of struggles with the things people have said, with the things people have done with the lower pay that's been offered. And I can only imagine that's what consumers feel like, too, especially women that want to take their vehicles in. Um, so that's something that we're working towards to try to create, you know, a better environment for women that do want to work in this field, especially going forward. And I've had to create my own opportunities to do that. Wow. I really respect what you just said and it makes all the sense in the world. And I thank you for bringing that out into the spotlight because I love when women do what men do. I love when men do what women do. It should all be equal opportunity and the pay should be equal as well. Now, I feel like I'm a bad cliche, Stephanie, because I know if I broke down on the side of the road, I wouldn't know who to call. I would feel helpless, and most importantly, I would be scared. And the best way to conquer fear is to fix it, figure it out, and learn. So I'm really excited about not only shining a light on the important things that you're doing, but learning how to empower myself, because it is all about rescuing yourself, whether you're a man or a woman. So show me how to do this so that I can know what to do in this situation. Absolutely. The best way to feel comfortable and confident when you have your own car is just to know kind of how to do some of those basics yourself. So today I'm going to show you how to jumpstart a battery by using a portable jump pack. So if you ever get stuck on the side of the road, you don't have to rely on strangers to do that. You don't have to hope that whoever stops, you know, you don't have to worry about who they are as a person. You can find them at any local parts store. You can find them online. Uh, portable jump packs come with a variety of features, but they're usually within like the 80 to you know $150 range um, that you can find a really good one that you can leave in your car. So the first thing that we're gonna do, we're just gonna actually identify on the car what you wanna be looking for first. So to get started, you're gonna want to identify which one is your positive and which one is your negative. So usually the positive has a red uh, you know, ca cable, a red cover. All right, that's pretty so, clear. Plus, yeah. red, positive, got it, positive. all right, thank you. Yeah. So you want to make sure you watch for any jewelry, any, you know, anything that you could have dangling, you don't want anything crossing first, you know, so you make sure that, you know, you've got everything out of your workspace. So you want to look for the red clip first, you're going to always connect the positive cable first. Okay, so I've got it on there. So then you're going to want to connect black cable uh -huh. and make sure that you have a solid connection on there. They're not flopping around, you not falling over. You just want to clamp it on there pretty tight. So then with the jump pack that we have, you're going to want to go ahead and turn that on. There's just this power button right there. So you want to make sure to turn that on. Hold down for just a second there when it's charged. Okay. So what's next? Do I finally go to start the dead vehicle? You're going to go ahead and start your vehicle first. Okay, so I'm going to start it. Are you ready? It started, Stephanie! Perfect. So you just want to let it run for a minute, just so the alternator can keep recharging your battery. And then once you're ready to come back up front, um, okay, so how long do I let it run for? Usually you just let it run you know, two to five minutes, depending if, it, if it's just a real quick uh, jump start, you know, you really gotta get out of there. I mean, you do want to make sure once you do start it, you 
you do let it run after that and dry that you don't just shut it right back off right away you want to let it recharge a bit before you drive you do want to take it back off so you want to let it run for you know maybe that five minute mark first and then we're going to go right ahead and turn it back off okay i mean it was like simple logic turn off the thing that's sending electric currents ah okay oh that was just me nothing happened okay yeah. So when you do take it off, you actually want to start by taking off your negative cable first, but you I don't did. want to. I did. You I did. Yes, I, I awesome. did. I took. Okay, but that's important. Start yes. by taking the negative cable yes. off first. So get rid first. of the bad vibes. Take off the negative. Yes. Like hone in on the yes. positive, then remove that second. Then remove it. And isn't it funny that you can conquer your fear just by getting on top of it and figuring it out? Here is the solve. You are my hero. And I'm wondering, Stephanie, I also don't know how to change a tire on the side of the road. Would you be willing to come back on the show and teach me how to do that? I would love to do that. I would be so happy to teach you that. OK, me too. I literally was like, oh, what's more important, the battery or the tire? How about we do both and help everybody? We will do both. Exactly. All right, we're going to put these instructions on the DrewBarrymoreShow.com. And thank you, Stephanie. Thank you for empowering me to rescue myself.